Like all attractions, and in particular museums, uh, we depend really heavily on uh, a visitor traffic uh, here in Door County, tourism numbers. And on a given uh, busy Saturday in July or August here at the museum, uh, we track uh, you know, the, the zip codes of the folks who visit us. And we know that between 95 and 98% of the folks that visit the museum here on a given summer day come from away, outside of the, the counties of uh, Door, Kiwani, and Brown. So, Tourism numbers are our lifeblood. Uh, you know, we depend on the revenue generated uh, by those numbers, uh, not only to uh, uh, keep uh, the doors open, but to do all of the other good work that we do. Uh, folks don't think about that, but in addition to uh, the celebration of our history that the museum represents, um, it gives us the opportunity to preserve uh, that history and do a lot of good things uh, uh, to keep the, the maritime history of uh, Door County and Wisconsin alive and well. So the next person that's going to talk is Jack Moneypenny from uh, the Door County Visitors Bureau. Thanks, Bob. We are excited and honored to host the governor today. He has selected Door County to kick off his four city tour. So it gives me great privilege to announce Governor Scott Walker. Hey Bob, I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to use this. I, I was looking at the scope. I saw the bridge. One side is open. So uh, like every other kid that came in here, uh, I had a little fun with that. But uh, thank you, Bob, for hosting us and to, to your board, to your staff, the county board chair is serving du double duty as the board president and the county board chair. Uh, pleased to be with you as well. And, and uh, I'm joined today, in a moment you're going to hear from Stephanie Klett, our secretary of the State Department of Tourism who embodies enthusiasm for the fun that we have in Wisconsin. But, but I want to add a couple things. And, and Jack, I appreciate that. I've mean, known Jack for years, uh, your leadership here in Door County with the Visitors Bureau. Uh, I also want to thank Gary Byes, our state representative up here, my longtime friend uh, who's with us here as well. Uh, but, but we're excited today. We're not only excited to be here at the Maritime Museum, uh, to be in Door County, but to be in the state of Wisconsin, we've got such good news. Uh, because tourism is one of our key drivers when it comes to the economy. And the good news is, uh, today we're announcing that since la in the past year, uh, the economic impact of tourism in this state has grown by nearly 5%, and over the last two years, it's about a 13% increase. Two years ago, the economic impact of tourism in this state was $14.8 billion. Last year, it moved up to $16 billion, and this year, it's $16.8 billion impact in the state of Wisconsin. One out of every 13 jobs in the state is related or dependent uh, on tourism. Uh, and in fact, uh, when you talk about the visitors coming in here, coming in from up from Chicago, over from the Twin Cities, all around the Midwest, all around the country, uh, the exciting thing is we have a lot of fun in the state of Wisconsin and we embody that, whether it's here at the museum, whether it's up the way at Wilson's uh, in Ephraim and Door County where, where my great grandmother lived to be 100, uh, just up the hill from there, or any of the other attractions in Door County and other places all across the state, People are coming here because they want to have fun. Uh, the great news about that is we've got a concerted effort in marketing, uh, in purchased ads in places like the Twin Cities and Chicago and elsewhere uh, that, that really complement the efforts that Door County's Visitors Bureau and others are doing uh, in partnership to get that message out because this is a great place to, to come to. And we want people to keep coming back, not just to come back once, but to come back over and over and over again. As part of that increase, we've seen get this, 96.6 .6 million visitors to the state of Wisconsin last year. Uh, so it's not only the economic impact is up, but the number of visitors up. It's an exciting uh, thing for us here in the state, and we're thrilled with that. And for us, it's a good investment. Uh, we put more money two years ago into the marketing budget for the tourism, uh, our tourism agency uh, to help them get that message out. Even though it was a tough budget, tough economic times, uh, like anybody who does retail, whether it's any of the attractions here in Door County or elsewhere across the state, we know that when times are tough, that's the time you got to hunker down and do some more advertising to get people into your attractions. We put more money into tourism two years ago. We're putting more money in this budget. We see the impact it has. It has a greater impact even on 
than a whole lot of the other tourism campaigns you hear about around the country. We have about a six to one ratio in terms of return on investment. And it's paying off with a bigger economic impact, with more visitors to the state of Wisconsin. And we wanted to be here today because we understand Door County is a key part of that. Um, I mentioned about 5% statewide increase. Door County had about a 6.5% increase as a part of that. So you're a pace setter. You're leading the way. Uh, number seven overall in terms of the 72 counties. So you're right at the top of the pack here in Door County. And we thought it was important to be here today. So we're excited about that. I'm going to turn it over to Stephanie Klett, who's going to probably kick me for saying you took uh, all my uh, details <laughs> about, uh, about uh, the specifics here. But, but I don't think there could be a greater, a more enthusiastic spokesperson for tourism mm -hmm. in the state of Wisconsin, anywhere in the country, uh, who had such a great impact and such a great love and such a great understanding for every different uh, nook and cranny across the state of Wisconsin it has to do with tourism and Stephanie Klett, our Secretary of the State Department of Tourism. Stephanie, come on. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here and if I look familiar to some folks here it's because for about 20 years I hosted a television and radio show called Discover Wisconsin and so I fell in love with Door County my very first trip here and who wouldn't? When we talk about Wisconsin, one of the first things visitors will think about are gorgeous natural resources. And Door County has that in spades. You know, you've got the Bay of Green Bay, Lake Michigan, these incredible islands, 11 lighthouses, more than any other place uh, in the United States, minus two, and I think Door County wins on technicalities. They're just trying to get technical. Um, but the five state parks, no other county in the United States has more state parks than Door County. And this week, we are kicking off National Travel and Tourism Week. And in 1983, Congress passed a joint resolution, and President Reagan signed a proclamation declaring National Travel and Tourism Week. And this is because a lot of times, travel could be looked upon as frivolous because it's, it's fun. But we are an economic powerhouse. The governor just stated our new number, $16.8 billion in travel expenditures. Two years ago, it was $14.8 billion. So coming out of an economy that had slowed down to have a $2 billion growth in two years is phenomenal. And the reason that happens is because county by county, we are working with them um, under the umbrella of FUN. FUN's the number one travel motivator. In fact, we were really proud just a few weeks ago, the Huffington Post called our new commercial spot that will be airing this summer with um, director David Zucker from Airplane, he's a Wisconsin native, and Robert Hayes, the funniest tourism commercial in the world. And so we were thrilled to get that kind of feedback. And our next commercial coming up will be starring Green Bay Packer, Jordy Nelson. So um, what we're doing is stepping away from the traditional slogans and doing our own thing and hitting a nerve with people. Tourism in the United States has a $2.2 trillion economic output. It supports over 14.7 million jobs. And here in Wisconsin, we were up almost 3,000 jobs, over 183,700 jobs this year. And again, that's an increase under Governor Walker. And we feel really, really fortunate that we have a governor who understands tourism. About four or five years ago, the tourism budget was cut um, a few million dollars at the Department of Tourism. And in that process, we lost over a billion dollars in travel expenditures. Under Governor Walker, he's increased the budget his first, his first year up to bat, and now again he's having that recommendation, and we are up $2 billion. You more than get out what you put in. In fact, we have a return on investment of $6 to one. So one of the things we're talking about, of course the governor is always about numbers, um, we're also about the whole experience with travel. And there is a definite travel effect. And in 2013, Governor Walker declared it the year of wellness and well-being. Well, with the travel effect, you have wellness. We know statistically that people who take their vacations are healthier, happier, more physically fit, and mentally alert. We know that vacations bring families together. You know, we have such a time poverty issue right now. Um, a lot of times with vacationing, it's not even economics because Wisconsin's so reasonable. It's time poverty. You know, people, you know, almost gone are the days of you know, the three-week vacations, the two-week vacations, the one-week vacations. 43% of all vacations 
right now in the United States are weekend getaways, and that's a time poverty issue. A lot of folks today are afraid to take that vacation thinking they'll go back to work a little behind. Um, it's just the opposite. You'll come back refreshed with new ideas. You know, you never hear anybody say, I was in my cubicle and I had the greatest idea. <laughs> but you send them on vacation, let them hike the trails here, let them go on Lake Michigan, and let them go back to work and see what happens. So um, we are so proud of the Door County Visitors Bureau. Jack Moneypenny, John Jarsh, Phil, the whole team there, they do a phenomenal job. In fact, uh, Jack Moneypenny, two years in a row now, huge increases in the number in, of, in Door County. He'll have all of the specifics for you, but um, Jack, where are you? He has just done an amazing job, and his team understands about the constant marketing. Door County is all, always reaching out in u unique ways. You know, they don't do the same old, same old. Um, of course, they do television and radio and print, but their social media is extraordinary, and their out-of-home advertising is really unique. They have, some, have done some really wonderful things. So we're proud to kick off National Travel and Tourism Week here in Door County. Um, I'm very proud to work for Governor Walker. I have an amazing team that's here. My Deputy Secretary, Dave Fantel, Sarah Clavis back there, who's our Director of Industry Relations. Um, just coming together. Tourism right now around the state is united. And we know that we're going to achieve together or we're going to fail together. And we've had two phenomenal years. So, and then we can go right to questions and with the governor here, no one ever has questions for me. <laughs> 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 Who's got the first question for Stephanie? Campaign in Chicago and Madison, would you talk a little bit about why those specific cities and what a Sure, I'll mention that and then if, if Stephanie or Dave want to tie in. For us, clearly, Chicago and the Twin Cities are, are key markets, key, uh, both in terms of proximity, but also in terms of, uh, as Stephanie alluded to, nationwide, increasingly, you have more and more people who have either the weekend or the extended weekend, uh, much more so than the week or two week vacation cycle. And so for us, anywhere in Wisconsin is within a reasonable reach, both of those marketplaces, the Twin Cities and Chicago. And so we've advertised there in the past, but one of the key things we did with the additional money we put in the budget two years ago was to give them the ability to do not just an ads, but but an overall multimedia approach to target each of those markets to draw more people here. And as Stephanie alluded to, in the past, in Wisconsin, there have been, in fact, in your mockumentary, you have a little fun kind of talking about, over the past decade, all the different uh, slogans that were in place. In the last two years, our ad doesn't focus on a slogan, it focuses on simple word, fun. Uh, we, we did the surveys we've done, consistently seen the number one reason people go on a vacation, the number one reason why they come to Wisconsin is fun. And so we wanted to put the focus on that. The number one reason they come back is the experience, though. It's not just the fun, it's the whole attitude. When we had, Jack was with us and others at the conference we just had last a month ago, or actually almost two months ago now, um, it, the focus was on, that I mentioned to all the different convention and visitor bureau and attractions folks, uh, was that it's not just having fun, it's the whole experience. That fun isn't just going down a slide or jumping into the water, it's how you're treated, it's the hospitality you get, it's how you feel when you get checked in and when you go to eat and everything else that's a part of that. And the nice thing is, you know, we do the, in the Midwest, we do it real well. And that's one of our, our prime reasons why people keep coming back. So that's a market for us, not just to target new folks, but to take folks who maybe parents who came here years ago and we're trying to get them to come back again to remember the fun they had with their kids and to have some of that themselves. Now, so that's the last vessel in the world flying her stat colors right there. So they're rolling steamships. And uh, if you see it, uh, you'll have to come back sometime when you've got time. We take uh, tours everywhere from, you know, bottom bottom of the bilges of the engine room all the way to the wheelhouse and everywhere else in between. So it's uh, it's a really great way to tell uh, the maritime heritage of Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah. You've got time to walk on there. Yeah, just go yeah, really quick. Up yeah. there, yeah. Anybody yeah. Not break there? Yeah, we go. Smile, everybody. Thank you.